Hi guys, this is Miss Essentials. Welcome to my channel. Shout out to all Potterheads out there. We all know that Fantastic Beasts 3, The Secrets of Dumbledore, was recently released and I'm so excited about it. How about you guys? For now, I would like to share the lessons that I have learned from some of the characters of Harry Potter series from the first 10 movie installments. Let's begin! Disclaimer Other persons involved in the making of the Harry Potter movie series, through the author, Miss J.K. Rowling, has nothing to do with me. I'm not in any way affiliated with the Harry Potter productions. This video is created to share my appreciation about the movie series and to spread the magical inspiration it has instilled to the minds of many, thus spreading the magic. When Newt's commander visited New York, some of the American wizards think he would bring harm to the city because of the magical creatures he carried in his luggage. Some people may misinterpret what we carry or even our actions and words, but if our intentions are good, then there's nothing to worry or fear about. Hermione Granger What I really like about Hermione is that even though she's muggle-born, she believed in herself and in her ability. Her wit and confidence made her stand out among the students of Hogwarts during her time. Hermione and Harry has a platonic relationship, but her love for Harry was undeniable. In one of the scenes, she insisted to Ron to stop eating because their best friend is missing. She has shown much care to Harry during the Triwizard competition. Before it started, she visited Harry to provide help and support. Best friends truly care and shine during difficult times. It's amazing how the author, J.K. Rowling, have created characters in the Harry Potter series. In case of Severus Snape, we see him to be a strict professor, someone who would not forgive nor love his students. But then, when we learn his history from Deadly Hallows 2, we realize that Professor Snape was driven by love, his love for Harry's mom. So, everything that he did, saving Harry Potter several times, without Harry knowing it at all, it was because of that love. Loving a girl he never had. In one of the scenes, Professor Snape told Harry, Life isn't fair. That statement has stricken me. Who among us think that life isn't fair? Type your comments down. Well, in some cases, it might be true. Because we have different opportunities. When you get old, you would witness some people get a lot of opportunities while others don't. And some people strive hard to get one. But whatever your case may be, I guess the best part of it would be overcoming the challenges, reaping the rewards, and sharing it with your loved ones. Tom Riddle, being raised in an orphanage for the first 11 years of his life, certainly he was missing the love of his parents and that feeling of abandonment, especially in his case when he was abandoned by his own father, a level of insecurity was developed within him. Every person's childhood plays an important role on how that person would become when he is grown up. It is during childhood when certain skills, abilities, and values are being developed. It is therefore important that we instill good values to our kids when they are young, show them the love and care that they need, so that in return, they would also show love and care for others. When kids are grown up, they would make decisions which we do not have control of. The only thing that would matter is that if we were able to raise them, to be a good person. Ronald Weasley, Ron's friendship with Harry Potter has led Harry not only to find a best friend but a new home filled with love. It's like Harry has found a new home for which he is totally accepted and loved as a family member, and he considered having a family as well. Sirius Black has been 
been a very good example of God fatherhood. He loved and accepted Harry as his own family. But before it happened, Harry has heard a lot of bad things about Sirius Black being a prisoner in Azkaban. I guess the moral of the story is that we should never judge someone if we do not know his or her history or if we do not even know that person personally. Professor Remus Lupin Professor Lupin was able to manage his condition and has remained a faithful member of the Order of the Phoenix. I guess, like an ordinary human being that we are, some of us may have certain condition. However, we can still get along with others and prove our worth. Mr. and Mrs. Weasley The Weasleys may have not much as compared to the Malfoys, however, they lived a good family life, which Harry considered as well. This is true. Having a great family life is something you cannot buy over the counter and is therefore priceless. Cedric Diggory Cedric has shown sportsmanship and has played a good game during the Triwizard Tournament. Although there was rivalry between Harry and him during the competition, he was still a good and sincere friend to Harry. Neville Longbottom This shy and introvert guy has so much passion in his craft, which is herbology. Like Neville, let us not underestimate those people whom we think are timid because one day, they also might show greatness in their own way. Harry Potter When Harry discovered that part of Voldemort was in him, being Voldemort's horcrux, he experienced what we call identity crisis. He was doubtful about himself, about his feelings, not quite sure if he was doing things rightfully or not. I believe a lot of people once in their lives have experienced identity crisis. I believe that human life is a process, it is a work in progress, and like Harry, most of the time we have to choose between good and bad, fight for what is right and true. Harry on love. Harry, like all of us, had his first love, and like most of us, he had detour before finding the right one, and he found the one in Jenny. I guess the key in finding the right one is acceptance. Accepting not only a person's positive side, but also the negative, the flaws, even the danger. The Weasleys were there to help Harry during trying times. He was like a family member. They were willing to fight with him. Harry on Professor Dumbledore When Harry visited his hometown in Godric's Hollow, the same hometown of Professor Dumbledore, he met people who happened to knew the professor deeply, and one of them was his brother Aberforth. Aberford speak ill of his brother. However, Harry's response was amazing. During his conversation with Aberford, he mentioned, I trusted the man I knew. I guess not all people would do the same. Like if somebody would speak ill of someone close to us, like probably a close friend, we have the tendency to believe. I hope that we can learn something good from this scenario because this scenario means fidelity. Professor Albus Dumbledore Professor Dumbledore was a man of his word. Aside from being one of the most powerful wizard, he was also a father figure to the Hogwarts students and he mentioned a lot of wonderful quotes all throughout the movie series. Among these quotes, the following are my favorites. When Harry Potter was staring in front of the mirror of Harry said, wondering how is it to be with his parents, Professor Dumbledore told him, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. When Harry Potter died and got the chance to go back, along the way he met Professor Dumbledore, who said, 
not pity the dead. 